I have an online business idea, but I don't know where to start. In this video, I'm gonna give you three tips on how to start moving the needle instead of those common tips about technicality and formality. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, brand mentor and a conversion strategist. I help online business owners create a quality pipeline of leads so that they never have to worry about where their next client is coming from with simple evergreen marketing strategies. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive the weekly updates on my videos to help you simplify your marketing and get clients consistently without burnout. So if you've had some business ideas and don't know where to start from, keep on watching this video. First, I'm gonna talk about the three things that people worry about the most and if you should worry about those. And then I'm gonna give you three tips on what to do instead so that you can start moving the needle to get revenue. This advice may be unconventional, but don't worry. I'm an official mentor for Small Business Administration, SCORE. So none of this is illegal. On a side note, this advice is not for those who have a specific startup idea and they're ready to look for funding. I've been helping business owners for many years through my business and through small business administration. What I see is that there are three things that people worry about the most when it comes to starting a business. First thing I see people worry about when it comes to starting a business is the paperwork like the business license and tax documents and things like that when it comes to compliance. And unless you need like a seller's permit or some sort of document for compliance reasons, you don't really need to start doing all that just yet. When you have these ideas of starting a business, I feel like getting the license and working on those type of paperwork stuff keeps people stuck stuck from actually start taking the action because you're so worried about getting all of this stuff together and honestly if you're not making money yet if you don't have clients yet you don't have a business yet just because you have a product or service ready to sell does not mean you have a business First, you need to bring business to your business. So unless you started making a couple of thousand dollars already, you don't have to worry about that stuff. Operation does not start until you start selling. So the second thing I see that people worry about the most is creating a business plan. In this context, I'm talking about the official business plan template. Again, unless you're looking for funding or investors or loans and things like that, you don't have to create an official business plan. A business plan is all about how you are planning on developing your business and growing your business. Most of the business plan is about your marketing and how you will bring business into this establishment. Third thing I see people worry about the most when it comes to starting a business is the website. Finding a name, creating a website. You don't have to have a website in order to start selling. Again, unless it's for compliance purposes, unless it is to start building business credit, unless it is for you to, because you're a local business, you wanna be, uh, in the Google Maps or because you want to be in yellow pages, unless those reasons, you don't have to have a website in order to sell. Just to make it clear, you need all of those things in your business at some point, but not when you're in the ideation or validation process. So what's more important? What do you need to start doing first? In a minute, I'm gonna give you three tips to start taking action. But in so many words, it's marketing. You start with marketing. I know some of you will say, well, if we don't have a solid idea yet, how do we start marketing? Here's how. And these three tips are gonna be the fundamentals and they're gonna help you 
validate your offer, your entire business plan. Number one is market research. Key to a great marketing and great business plan is great market research. Now, if you're saying you're not even sure of which market to search because you're still trying to come up with the idea and come up with the whole offer, right? But here's the deal. Whatever your product or service is about, you're not in the business of that product or service. You're in the business of marketing. Marketing either health, family, finance, fun, faith, or education. All of us in this space, regardless the product or service we are selling, we are in the business of marketing these six things. So take two of these, two of these that makes most sense with the product or service ideas you have, two of the ones that make more sense for your style and your interest and, and what you like, and start your market research with those two things. Here's an example. Let's say you like cooking, you love food, and you wanna do something around that. Take two of these that resonate the most with cooking and the people that you like to serve the most and like-minded people like you and what you like in your interests, right? And Look at the maybe health and family side of cooking, right? Cooking for your family and healthy. Um, or maybe look at the fun and finance side of things. Um, maybe cooking, budget cooking or fine dining cooking type of things, right? So think about these six angles we talked about and approach from too, when it comes to your market research about the idea you have. Second tip I have for you that will help you start moving the needle is document your journey. Document your own journey. Even if you have so many different ideas and literally have no clue, start documenting, right? Take, again, take those six angles, take those things in your life and document those things. Document about how these things have been helping you, how you started, why you started, and how these things have helped you. And that's gonna, which is the best marketing for any business? Because that actually is gonna attract a audience for you. That's how you're gonna be able to build your community. Those people who like the same things, who, who are interested in the similar angles of life are gonna start following you, are gonna start engaging with you and are gonna start talking to you. Which brings me to my third tip, start conversations. Conversations with people is the best market research, plus it's the best marketing. Understanding those like-minded people who engage with the things that you're doing, understanding what type of problems they have and how you can help them solve those problems through the ideas you have in your mind about this business that you wanna to bring to life. That's what's gonna shape up your entire offer. That's what's gonna build the solid community for you that will keep bringing you leads and help you turn those leads into clients. Getting into conversations with people, hearing the words that are coming out of their mouth, the phrases they use, the way they describe those things are the key for your marketing. Remember, just because you know how to do something so well, doesn't mean that you know how to market it. And for marketing, you do need those words that come out of your, the mouth of your ideal client that come 
out of their mouth, the, the way of thinking, their uh, words and the phrases that they use. If you start by following these three tips, you're gonna build a solid business plan. Not only that, but you're gonna start moving the needle to generate revenue because you created demand for your business. Let me know in the comments below. Would you like more detailed information about market research or documenting your journey or starting conversations with people? I'll make sure to create another video to dive deeper into one of those or all three. Let me know in the comments. See you next time.